trying not to get bitten. No, I'm trying, I'm just checking on the berms. Our pythons. So we've got our big pythons. One of them is about to shed. Uh, Bertha. Who's, uh, I don't know if you can see. Can you see her from there? She's got those grey eyes. So she's about to yeah, try not to get tagged. <laughs> she's got those grey eyes just there. So just making sure everything's okay. So she's got all this nice new leaf litter. Bring up the humidity. And helps her shed a bit. What's been going on? Well, we got a question come in. Hopefully you can answer it for us. Yeah. Make sure Are some snakes herbivores? Some snakes herbivores? No. So, yeah, so there's loads of plants in here. They're not eating the plants. So these guys eat on, these guys feed on rats, mice, rabbits, chickens, ducks, things like that. They're what's called obligate carnivores. So they have to eat meat. So you can't put a, you can't put a python or any snake um, onto a, a vegetarian diet. They have to have meat and meat only. So there's fats and amino acids proteins that are in a, in a, I'm going to check on this guy, they're in the ones that are, are in the, um, yeah, obviously my, I'm distracted a bit, we'll make sure this guy's not coming towards me and sees me as, as meat, they're, uh, if we give these guys, or try to get these guys onto a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet, they'd actually, it would kill them, they'd actually die from the, not being able to produce uh, the energy that they need properly. And he seems happy enough. Do they get sick? They can get sick, yeah. So something we gotta watch, especially with these. So with the two, you see the color difference. So this color here, this is the normal color in the world. And that one there is an albino, and this one here is what's called a lavender. So it's it's got a certain kind of a color morph. So these unfortunately are inbred for the pet trade a little bit. So it makes them more prone to illness. So they do get illnesses, and these guys tend to get a lot of uh, respiratory problems. So they get they do get like a runny nose. They get kind of a cough and stuff like that. And we have to really have to watch that. So we've got to keep the temperature up nice and high, keep the humidity up nice and high to make sure they don't get that. But they, you know, just like us, they can get run down, they can get sick, and we've got to watch that. Sometimes you might treat it with antibiotics. Sometimes we just let them get over it naturally. But, yeah, they've, they've, just like us, they can get just as sick as we can. COVID, not so much, not so sure. I don't think there's any record of any reptile getting COVID that I know of anyway. So fingers crossed it stays like that. Okay, well, best of luck. Didn't fog up. <laughs>